Vera, uh, what are your thoughts after that game against Germany? Yeah, first half was um, a typical game of an overwhelming opponent. Is that correct English? Um, we have seen it so so many times with Scotland, with South Africa, with the Netherlands because the Netherlands were back then on the on the level that, that we are now. Um, the first time against an opposition like this, you can train what you want, but you need to experience the the pressure. And if you can not get over that at that moment, if there's too many players that um, cannot quickly quickly connect, then you get a half like the first half. And it, it's a shame that the goals that we got were actually not even the most dangerous moments. Um, <coughs> but it is part of that process of growing to different levels. Um, second half um, was so much better because at halftime um, we for the first time used a few clips um, that was made by Jan Willem with uh, Andy, our video analyst. And um, we brought that in because he, he has done the time to clip to show the spaces. Um, and that's really helped. And within that we coached really sharp that they, they needed to start to play Irish, sure. sorry, uh, to get pressure on the ball. Mm -hmm. They needed to press forward instead of just moving and, and losing the head. Um, so we learned so much from this game and that's actually again what we aimed for. Eh? Um, we can take everything out of this. Uh, um, if you see how they adapt to information that they get, whether it's visual with talking and how they then execute that immediately in the second half, um, where we also had moments that we could really play and that we could outplay them even in midfield. Um, although it didn't lead to, to chances, but that is the process that you have to go through. And the fact that we played 0-0 in the second half is, is a boost because um, it shows that, that we can learn very quickly and that we don't know our ceiling yet. You mentioned before the game that no matter the result, the performance would be that we would never stop fighting, we would keep going all the way. That was evidence throughout, not only in the effort, but the, the shape and the bits of counter-attacks that we had as well. Yeah, yeah. there's one thing that you always can do is not collapsing. Um, the, the teams that collapse and give up um, will never learn. The only way to learn quickly is to take everything out of the game, and I think that that is what we've done because we've now felt what it is if you take too much time. We felt what it is if you pl play quickly and that you even against Germany can play in midfield. Um, we felt if you're not immediately ready when the whistle comes and fight yourself through the game, if you're not, um, uh, let's say, if you don't have the experience of that pressure yet, mm -hmm. um, that you then can really cannot play a game against them. Uh, so. Take, uh, taking everything out of the game was the key aspect that uh, that we wanted to see, and again, three 0 is not a bad result against a, a game against a team like this. And the second half uh, gives a lot of positives for the future.